What's up guys, my name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be sharing some of the biggest tips that help me go from making absolutely no money with dropshipping, really hating entrepreneurship and just, yeah, not, not like in life to um, doing over $10,000 in revenue with Shopify dropshipping. Now, the reason why I say 10 grand is I feel like that's a pretty good number to aim for when you're first starting out you can't just say you want to make you know 100 million dollars obviously you can say that but you kind of need like a stepping stone first so i thought 10 grand was a good number for that and then i'm going to be making a second video on how to go from making 10 or 100 grand or something like that to making a million dollars in revenue with drop shipping because there's a very very large difference in the skill set there and honestly i just wish that i had learned this stuff in this video and in the next video earlier. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hop right into it. Okay, so I had my first 10 grand in revenue a long, long time ago, um, about two and a half years at this point, which honestly isn't that long, but the lessons that took me from zero to 10 are honestly unforgettable because it took way, way longer than it should have for me. Um, I've been in dropshipping for like almost four years at this point. It took me six months to get profitable with dropshipping. It took me three months to make a single sale, um, like five months to make a second sale. Like it was not easy, okay? Dropshipping as a whole is not easy, but it was just dumb hard for me because I'm stupid. But anyway, I learned a lot and um, I'm gonna share what I learned, at least the most important things, with you guys so that hopefully it doesn't take you five months to make two sales. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so the number one thing is your mindset. I just mentioned that drop shipping is a lot harder than it really seems. And um, you're gonna realize that pretty damn quick if you start drop shipping. So the biggest thing that you need to remember is that success is inevitable. You have to have this mindset with anything that you do. You have to understand that if you keep going, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Success is going to happen. It's only a matter of time. And with dropshipping, it takes one winning product to absolutely transform your life. I used to tell my friend this all the time, and then he found his first winning product, and it transformed his life. I mean, seriously, I've had products do seven figures. One product. It literally just takes one. So keep going and you're gonna find that one. Also, you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna fail a lot before you find that one product or that one store, that one niche, or that one influencer or interest or whatever because you win a very, very small portion of the time that you're testing. But all those times that you fail, when you're testing, you're learning. So you're buying knowledge, okay? I hate people that say you buy data because that's just an excuse to be unprofitable, but you're buying knowledge, okay? as long as it's within reason. Next thing, if you're not willing to fail, then you're not willing to succeed. I think this is like a famous quote or I just put my own spin on it. But regardless, if you come into dropshipping or e-commerce or any industry, any business with the mindset that you're going to win and you can't accept failure, then you're stupid, okay? Unless you're thinking macro, you're not going to win. If you're thinking micro, if you're thinking like, you know, my first store is going to be my winner, I'm just quitting, then you're shooting yourself in the foot, okay? And you're not actually going to succeed with that mindset. Next thing, it can take a long ass time to become profitable, okay? So you kind of need to have a little bit of a budget when you're starting drop shipping. I personally did not. That worked against me. I had a couple hundred dollars to my name, somehow made it work. But it can take a long ass time to become profitable. So just make sure that you're not using your rent money. You're not using your food money. You just like have some other options on the table, not other businesses per se, but instead have just enough money coming in to support you for, you know, up to six months or maybe even longer. Lastly, you're literally starting a business here. It's a business with a very, very low startup cost and honestly, just a tiny barrier of entry, but it's a business. And if you treat it like a business, 
then you're going to do pretty well. But if you treat it like a side hustle or a hobby, then you're going to lose a lot of money, even if it may be that thing to you. All right, second, find a teacher. This doesn't mean that you got to go DM Tony Robbins and 55 other entrepreneurs on Instagram. This finds that you need to find one to two legit YouTubers, <coughs> cough, and try to actually distinguish the people that know their shit and the people that don't. Because it's really, really, really hard to tell when you don't have experience. And I'm sorry, I can recommend a couple legit guys, but the only person that I know who's legit is sitting in this room. Anyway, just binge watch their YouTube videos. Seriously, dude, I cannot, I mean, I've watched so many YouTube videos, it's ridiculous. When I was first starting out, that was all I did. I can afford courses. I should probably should have read books because I could probably afford those, but like, no, just, just read YouTube, read these. Watch YouTube, seriously. A lot of people drop a lot of value, cough, cough and if you watch all of their videos and you're going to get a really good idea of their strategy or they're just a shit youtuber and you really shouldn't listen to them um if you do have the money for a course that's usually a shortcut to doing all this work um and it's usually going to get you a solidified strategy a lot quicker a lot easier a lot more seamlessly with a lot more holes in their strategy however if you don't have the money for a course don't listen to all the YouTube ads. You don't need a course to succeed with dropshipping. You just need to find one or, or maximum of two YouTubers that have a proven, recent, legit strategy and copy it. Just exactly copy it because you don't know enough to put your own spin on their strategy. So copy it. And then once you kind of get some traction rolling in, then you can put your own spin on their strategy. One of the biggest mistakes that I learned the hard way was the fact that I was watching like I don't know, 15 different YouTubers on Shopify dropshipping. And I was trying to take a little piece from this YouTuber and a little piece from this YouTuber and a little piece from this one and then just combine it all. And yeah, it, it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. All right. Third thing, be focused and don't have shiny object syndrome. One of the biggest reasons that I wasn't successful dropshipping for a badass minute was because I was way too concerned on the next store, the next trendy product, the next niche. Why wasn't I making sales? I was doing all this stuff and I couldn't even buy a domain name. I had the My Shopify name for months. That's an issue. So if you're going to do something, then do it, but only do that. It should take months and hundreds of dollars for you to give up on something. And maybe it shouldn't take months if you are spending a decent amount of money with a good testing strategy. But I mean, if you're going to commit to dropshipping, commit to it for at least like six months. Um, because if you don't, then you're really just not never going to know. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say here is don't hop between product or product or store to store. Understand your testing strategy so that if a product doesn't become profitable within a certain amount of time after doing a certain amount of things, then you can kill it and you won't be emotional about it. Make sure that when you are testing products, you're spending at least $200 and you're using multiple creatives. Now, I say $200, I get that a lot of you watching, that's like your entire job shipping budget. And honestly, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to be successful, but I won't say that it's not possible. Personally, I started with a couple hundred dollars, like I said, and I made it work, but it just sucks. You're going to want to rip your hair out. And um, if you like your hair, then I seriously just recommend that you save up some money. All right. Now, here's what to focus on. Now, this shit, like this may be almost as important as mindset. Like it's up there because when you're starting out dropshipping, you really just don't know where to put your attention. I mean, I, I've said this multiple times. I remember... I was trying to do like a rewards program when I didn't have a single customer. I remember working on this when I was 14. That's stupid. And email marketing and all this dumb stuff when I should just focus on getting customers. So some really good advice that I got was focus on your most immediate problem at a time because your first problem is going to be building your website, then finding your product, getting your customers, et cetera. Just focus on one thing at a time and you're going to be a lot better off. Now, the things that you really, really need to put some time into, the things that I consider are important are as follows. 
The most important thing with dropshipping is your creatives. If you have shitty creatives, then you're not going to succeed with dropshipping, period. The next thing is your advertising strategy. If you don't have a strategy, if you're just launching stuff and like throwing a bunch of influencers out there and maybe doing some Snapchat ads on the side, like it's probably not going to work. Okay. So just find one strategy, copy it and run it. And uh, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but at least give it a fair shot and only do that one strategy. Next thing is going to be your product. I've seen really, really weird, really bad products work. And I've seen really, really good products not work. It's all dependent upon your creatives. However, there are definitely good products and bad products out there. So keep testing. Maybe DM me on Instagram if you're thinking about selling a product and I'll give you my opinion on it. But um, yeah, definitely make sure that you're careful with your product selection. You don't sell anything that's saturated unless you have absolutely insane creatives. Next thing is going to be your offer. Now, a lot of people just do this basic 50% off offer. Don't do 50% off. You can do like 60 or 70 or whatever. That's fine. But honestly, a lot of really, really successful dropshipping stores do something more than a generous percentage sale with their offer. A lot of successful stores do buy one, get one free, buy one, get two free, you know, buy four for this insane bundle price and save 89%, whatever. There's a ton of things that you can do here, but trying to communicate a better offer than your competitors is probably going to end up working very, very well for you. All right, so the last thing is product page optimization. Now, you definitely need to know how to build a good website, a clean, trustworthy, safe-looking website because that's the only way customers are going to buy from you. But I'm not going to tell you it's the most important thing. In fact, I spent way too much time on my first store, and you probably are too. Seriously, just watch some tutorials, how to build a Shopify store. I have a couple, and you should be able to crank one out in like one to two days. And right now, I can crank one out in under an hour. So yeah, you got this. Don't overthink it though. All right, lastly, some of the tips that I wish someone had told me when I was first trying to go from no money to 10 grand in revenue with Shopify dropshipping is number one, don't reinvent the wheel. Seriously, don't try to like just go out and blindly do dropshipping. Just take a strategy and copy it because even if you have a little bit of experience with some sort of business marketing online stuff, it's probably not going to be better than a strategy that you copy from a random YouTuber who's trustworthy. Second, pick products you or someone you know would consider buying. Almost all of my winners I think are damn cool and I own them and I would probably own them even if I wasn't selling them. So that's one of the easiest ways that you can find and distinguish a winning product between a non-winning product. Next, test at least four products per month. Now, this is obviously a lot easier if you have a budget, but seriously, just try testing four products per month because the vast majority of the time, the product isn't going to work. And if you don't commit to a certain testing schedule, then it's just not going to happen for some reason or another. So if you have to test one product a month, then test one product a month. But ideally, you're going to test at least four per month and you're going to do it consistently on a schedule because that's the only way you're going to find a winner, most likely. All right, next, don't pay people to make your creatives, your website, or pick your products. Learn to do it yourself, even if it takes a little bit longer to get as good as those people. Normally, whenever you buy video ads or you know a Shopify dropshipping website, or you hire someone on Fiverr to do product research, it's all gonna be shit. Seriously, it's all gonna be shit. I'm not gonna sell you freaking pre-built Shopify dropshipping stores with winning products in six months, okay? Because that is simply not profitable. If you had winning products, you would not give it away for $500. I can guarantee you. And if you knew how to make dropshipping ads that were really, really good, then you'd probably be running them for yourself, okay? And if you, same thing with picking products. It's not gonna be good for your growth in dropshipping. It's not a good way to spend your budget. Fifth, if all else fails, try free plus shipping. I wouldn't necessarily start off with this, but I know a lot of people that have made a decent amount of money just building traction with free plus shipping. That's how I really got my first like decent amount of sales. I mean, of that 10 grand, I would say like 
at least seven was free plus shipping. So it's super important. It still works. And it's a great way to honestly just get some pixel data rolling in, get some sales rolling in, and start to build momentum. Because as you'll see in the next one, momentum is everything. So that leads me into my next thing. Momentum is everything. It's really, really hard to go from making no money to making a whole lot of money. Like it's really hard. And if it wasn't, then everyone would be a drop shipper. Everyone would do e-commerce. Everyone would be an entrepreneur, okay? But that's not how it works because it's so damn hard. And the few people that persevere are the ones that succeed, okay? And the only reason, the only way that I know to shift your momentum from negative to positive, it's to work to the point where you know that you deserve it, the point where you know that it's coming. And you may not know when, you may not know how, but you know that some way or another, you're gonna get rich or you're gonna die trying, okay? That's the only way that I know that you can guarantee that momentum shift from negative to positive. And then once you get positive, in my experience, it's very, very hard to fall back to negative because you have the momentum going for you and that's just gonna continue this snowball effect as long as you keep working your ass off and you're gonna end up making a whole lot of money. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you got a ton of value out of it. As always, I really try to make my videos just 100% pure value, 0% ads, 0% any of that junk. And um, yeah, if you appreciate that, definitely let me know by hitting that like button or the subscribe button or just commenting some video ideas, some questions. Love talking to you guys in the comments. Love trying to help people out. So really appreciate your time again watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.